What up guys, Nova Trades here. Today I'm going to go over a quick video on TradyTix. This is a data platform that gives you tons and tons of different information, different tools to use to try to help improve your trading or to use it for confirmation for entering trades. Um, I've personally been using this website slash software for three months now and I have nothing but positive things to say. Uh, I'm going to go through give a quick rundown and then kind of show some examples on how I use this platform to enhance my trading. I will say that ever since I've joined TradyTix, I have seen, def I've most definitely seen an increase in my trading, my consistency and all of that. It helps kind of uh, just give really strong confirmation in entering trades. Um, I do want to say that I'm not partnered or affiliated with TradyTix. This is just an educational video. I thought I would show people that have been asking me for a couple weeks now sort of how I do use this website. I thought it would just be easiest to make a video to show them. For anyone that is interested in joining TradyTix or you think this is a really cool platform, you can do a seven-day trial. Um, and also the monthly cost is going to be $49 a month or the yearly is going to be $449. If you are interested, I do have my uh, referral link in the description. I was lucky enough to actually talk with TradyTix, the person that designed the website and the creator of it, and he was kind enough to embed a coupon into my uh, referral code. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, use my referral code I would, or referral link. I would definitely really appreciate that, but let's jump right into it. So a couple cool features uh, that I really appreciate and really like about TradyTix is not only is there a website, you have the mobile app, which is actually extremely well optimized. I don't think that I, I, I love the mobile app and I'm really picky with mobile apps. Um, I don't really see any lag, any issues with it. It's very responsive. It's very user friendly. So that's very beneficial whenever I'm out uh, or I'm not at my setup. I'll use the app and it's extremely easy to use the discord. Um, they have a Discord server that if you do purchase premium, you get access to different things that you can do. Um, there's different tons of different things you can do on the Discord. I'll save that for another day, though. There's also for people that are newer at trading, there's a customized uh, TradyTix tr curriculum. So you'll, when you join the website, you can fill out a survey. Let's just fill out all of this right here and then submit and it will custom make you a curriculum that for videos that you might find beneficial. So I think that this is extremely helpful, not only for people that are new, but even just anyone in general, if you're interested in trying to learn like bullseye, which is a feature they have, all these are different features that they have. So really awesome. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the website. So like I had mentioned, there is just tons and tons and tons of information on this website. Uh, I, 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 there, I don't think that there's any way you could go wrong with spending $49 with the amount of information that you receive on this website. Definitely worth it. TradyTix, if you reach out to him or her on Twitter, very responsive. It's it's really cool being able to communicate with someone that's designing this platform and giving them feedback. And you can actually see that feedback being implemented into the website, which is ex just super awesome. I feel like you don't really see that much, but let's go ahead. So this is the initial page that you'll see. Um, you can see different stocks at the top going around with their percentages. You can see how the index is, how the market's doing. You can see a little heat map, biggest gainers, losers, uh, sectors, rotations, which is extremely cool. Sector performance, news, uh, predictions on price. So on Friday, spy printed bearish. And we could we saw that happen at the end of the day. Although we did see a nice bullish move throughout the middle of the day. Um, insider transactions, upcoming earnings. Let's go ahead and move on real quick. So this is the option summary page. You can see, and so what you'll do is the option summary is just going to be a quick sort of. Uh, let's see. I think because I'm in full screen, I can't do it, but you can type in different tickers here at the top just because I'm in full screen right now. It's not allowing me to, but, or I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, at the, I'm thinking about the wrong page. Options market summary. So this is going to still be about spy and queues. Um, you can see calls are being bought. Puts got dropped off when puts started being uh, either when puts started not to be, excuse me, when puts stopped being bought, the stock price moved up. Um, just really cool information to help give you some confirmation. You can see the different sector inflow, sector outflow, 
the historical sector flow, daily premiums, the call dashboard. So this is going to be for a tons of different tickers. And it just has so much information out of the money score, out of the money percent, Avgex, PD, net premiums, buys, orders, symbol. Let me keep moving on. We can see, so crypto has some information on crypto, which is extremely cool. You can see the top coins, global metrics. So you can see actually on Friday, the market cap guy, there is a nice little push in the market cap. Biggest gainers, there's a heat map, tons of different information, news. And it gives you little categories for the news, um, chatters, market summary. So you can see what social media platforms are talking. But now let's jump into, so now we're going to start jumping into how I actually use TradyTix. So um, I go to the options section right here. This is where you're going to be able to see the AI information for uh, tons of different tickers. What you'll do is you'll enter in the ticker up here. You can enter in the ticker and it will then pull up. Uh, let's see, so we were just on Amazon, switched to Tesla. Uh, let's go to the queues. You can go to the queues, change the time frame. I typically stick to about five to 30 minutes. Um, if I'm scalping, I'll switch to one minute, but I've, I've mainly been seeing most of my success come from using the higher time frame ones, which is the five, 15, and 30 minutes. You can see sweeper levels, dark pool levels, support and resistances automatically drawn for you. But yeah, it's really cool to see. So let's go over here to the 15 minute. What I'll do is I will uh, pull this up. I'll be sitting on this and then I just look for divergence. So as you can see, algo is pretty consistent coming here in the downtrend oh, excuse sorry so you see the algo is coming here in the downtrend algos weren't really active on february 2nd um, even though price consolidated throughout the day with algos not being active the next day we gapped down granted that was due to facebook earnings but still there's you know algos weren't really buying and then you come over here nothing really happened and then you see this massive intraday algo divergence to start off friday this big buying in the morning and as you can see price just starts gravitating towards that algo line so when you see the algo lines going up even though the algo is still pointing in the, in the red right now you see it going up that's a nice divergence giving sort of an indication that there is interest and in some some purchasing happening in the market um as we can keep going down and see the daily premiums heat map this will kind of give you an indication of what contracts are being bought throughout the day so you see we have 37 million on in december 16th 2022 calls you can see what's being purchased throughout the week on a weekly level as well here here's the different weeks um call to put volume call to put open interest historical net premiums you can see the, the today's net premium so calls heavily outweighed puts in today's net premiums um, you can see this matrix tool which is extremely awesome there's so many different tools being added every weekend uh, circles from my understanding circles when you see circles that means that there's a big sell and price will typically navigate or gravitate towards the yellow matrix line with the red and green being the upper and lower bands um, so, and triangles typically are bullish symbol signals, but what you want to have is you want to have a triangle print and then the stock price go above the yellow line. If, if I'm not mistaken, I have, I'm still yet to check out the tool, but I'll just, I'll throughout the day, continue to check out all this information, put orders, unusual contracts, hover over it. It gives you the actual information, but I, I use, so this is a tool I use all the time. So I'll look at the top contracts being traded. And I will utilize that to kind of help give myself a direction on where I think think the stock is growing um, or going. I like to keep it more towards um, expirations that are sort of in this half of the year. So something like this, that's for 2024 for a 550 strike so deep in the money so far out it's uh, it doesn't it's not really something I'll pay attention to. I'll take note of it, but don't really care. And then this is a whale positioning timeline which is so so cool so you can see what premiums are being spent and what contracts are being bought so on the 28th of january you can see that there was a massive increase in the net premium or in the premium so it jumped from uh 123 to 
to $12 million in premiums. And it doesn't look like those contracts that were bought have been sold off yet. When they get sold off, you'll see the line kind of dip down. Um, you can see sort of right here, all these lines dipping down, but I think that is such a cool tool. Um, I definitely strongly, strongly, strongly recommend if you do use TradyTix, kind of checking out this algo tool right here. Um, this also is another tool that I'm constantly using throughout the day, and I'll use it to help me with my trades, is this, uh, s this AI summary board. So what I look for on this, just like I had mentioned previously, is the divergences. So it's extremely, extremely, extremely helpful. So the yellow is going to be the stock price and the red. Well, it's red now because it's still printing bearish, but um, sometimes you'll see it as green. But I'll use this to help myself um, conf confirm trades I'm looking to get into. So as you can see, the algo line's pointing down, the stock price is moving down with the algo line, and then you see this big divergence right here start forming just as it takes just a little tiny dip, which was most likely a liquidity grab. Um, as you see this, this line start pushing up though, you can see price start gravitating towards the line, diverging from being down to going up. And then they meet right here and you see that the algo line starts dropping. So, and price starts moving up, just price continues just to keep moving up. So in, in a situation like that, where price and algo meet after it goes on a big run up, and the algo goes on a big run up and price follows once they meet and the algo line starts dropping, I start to trade with caution knowing that there is most a high, a high likelihood of a, move, a bigger move coming in more, most likely to the downside. And as you can see, that move followed through right towards the end of the day. So with this tool, uh, you can see real time kind of what, what's happening throughout the day with the algo line and then sort of use that to reference with price. Um, here's a price simulator. I haven't yet to really check this out or go off of it. Um, it's, it, you know, I haven't, I, I don't have enough to sit to comment on it. Dark pool sentiment. So you can see buying and selling in dark pool. Looks like there's major outflow. Um, these dark pool levels is so, 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 so useful for finding supply and demand zones. Uh, I'll look at the call and heat map. I'll look at the sweeps and then social chatter. I haven't really paid attention to for indexes, but for specific stocks, I'll take a look at that too. Um, this is also something I really, really like to use is this live options flow feature. When I'm trading, I'll go to out of the money above ask so that I can see really aggressive buys. And then I will enable sound alerts and I'll throw this up and it will just read to me what's per what's being purchased. Um, it will tell you the ticker, uh, expiration, the premium spent, the strike, and then I can go in here and look into it a little bit further. Um, you can see on here on the right side, there's a little details bar. So you can click on this and then find out a little bit more information on that. Um, other than that though, uh, I, I you know the, during the trading day, I'm specifically talking about intraday, those are really the three things I stick to. So options, TradyTix AI, and then the live options flow scanner. Um, I will go ahead and check out TradyFlow. I typically do this after hours to just see if there were any recent big orders on a specific strike in stock. So you can see for GE, there's 75 strike puts for 120, 20, 23. I'll kind of just take this into account, then go to the, all these other tools and check out the information. But yeah, this was, I just wanted to make a super quick video for you guys. Um, I know this is 13 minutes long. If, if you want to feel free to skip uh, towards different parts, I'll try to put a little marker in the videos. But yeah, I'd appreciate any feedback you guys could give. If you guys were interested in me going over all the other different types of tools that TradyTix offers, um, they offer a whale tracking so you can track contracts, a trading journal, uh, a chat room. Um, you can set alerts and all that stuff. Just so much useful information. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can follow TradyTix at, at TradyTix on Twitter. You can follow me at, at NovaTrades on Twitter. Uh, if you guys ever want, to, want another video, let me know. But yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and have a good rest of your day.